So what's the programmer in the previous video we just saw how you can create the registration and login form in or Zomato Loan app. In the today's section we are gonna move on. So first I just created the restaurant app using python menu.py start app app restaurant app and in here models.py you can see I just created the model class restaurant model and models.model .model obviously and the first colon is root user equal to models dot one to one field and I just connected the Django's inbuilt model user in here now you can create another model for restaurant owner but I just use the user I'm gonna change it later and on delete equal to model dot cascade now in here the second one is restaurant name equal to model dot character field and so on so restaurant owner name owner phone number phone number address area city state country open time and close time in here I just use the time field so user can see which time is open time and close time of the restaurant and restaurant type equal to character field and now in here you can see I just use the restaurant like and dislike and for that I use the many to many field and I just pass the user model and related name equal to like and dislike and so on so restaurant image equal to model dot character field max length equal to one 10,000 and null equal to true and blank equal to true and restaurant registration date equal to models dot date time field now you can pause the video and look out all of the columns so now let's move on and don't forget to migrate this model in the user I got logon logon 89 and vx6969 so in restaurant model you can see I got root user equal to logon logon 89 and vx6969 now in here in the restaurant like and dislike you can see I got the uh, many to many field so uh, user can like and dislike this restaurant now if you don't know how to do this link is in the description how to like and dislike particular page now I forgot to add null equal to true and blank equal to true in here and I don't want null equal to true and blank equal to true in here restaurant owner name I'm gonna do I'm gonna just copy this and paste this in here I just want the restaurant user only if restaurant user can add yeah, their name restaurant name if restaurant user can't okay cut this shit out this is end so now in here you can see if user want to just add the restaurant name and register so you register so user can do this user don't need to add all of this stuff I'm talking about restaurant user not the customer user so let's create the restaurant user now in the address I am adding this manually but later I'm gonna use the Google API now in the restaurant type I'm gonna use the multi -select selection so this is my restaurant model object one I'm gonna use the str function to display the restaurant name so you can see I got Papa's Pizzeria now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create the another model for foods so now let's create the model for menu in the models of menu we are gonna add the category of the food so the first colon is restaurant and user in here you can see restaurant equal to models do to one to one field and I just pass the restaurant model now if you don't want to add the root user so you can skip it and in here you can see I just add the special and offer models equal to character field and in the menu also character field now I just use the null equal to and blank equal to true in special and offer now we have to create another model for food rest food model so in here you can see I just said the menu equal to models dot one to one field restaurant equal to models dot one to one field root user equal to one to one field food name equal to character field food image equal to character field food description equal to text field food like equal to user many to many field and also in the dislike I use the many to many field and food price equal to positive integer field now let's just make migration 
you can pause the video and observe these two models and register your model in here you can see i just register the restaurant menu model and the food mode so in the menu model you can see i got restaurant and menu so i'm gonna add papa's pizzeria and in the menu i'm gonna add the pizza combo pack and pizza combo pack is veg and also this is non-veg and there is no egg okay so i'm gonna save model and i just add the str function in my model so you can see i got pizza combo pack now in the food model you can see i got menu in the menu i got pizza combo pack and in the food name i'm gonna add my first food item which is the margarita pack and in the description i'm gonna add the food description so you can see i just add the description to margarita pizza with pepperoni toppings and olive toppings the first pizza is chezwan spicy and second pizza is tomato sweet and so on so in here i'm gonna add the price of my combo 800 and i'm gonna save so you can see i just got margarita pack now you are thinking what the hell is this we don't want to go in the three models and add one by one product so don't worry we are gonna change it later this is just an back end we are gonna do it all of this in front end in the all one page now next what we are gonna do we are gonna filter the city and the country for example when i write palanpur in here so it must show me all of the restaurant in the palanpur and nearest by so in the next video we are gonna just simply create the city filter restaurant for example when i click on the palanpur gujarat india and when i click on the search for restaurant so it must suggest me all of the restaurant in palanpur we are not gonna use the nearest restaurant for now because we have to use the api for that and it must be show the nearest restaurant with their kilometer and i think this is too difficult for you so we are gonna change it later but now we got our restaurant we got our restaurant menu and we got our restaurant food so i'm gonna add uh, hundreds of restaurant in my database so i can show you this stuff in the next video so if you got any query any error just comment me. and sorry for the late video because i'm developing a huge website a huge startup for my all-in-one code site in the that site i'm gonna give the free video free online teaching video you can learn anything i mean anything python dancing piano anything and for programmer i give a uh, lots of quiz and learning from scratch and all of the video even online ide online ask question online upload project and so on so a lots of stuff so if you are interested just comment me so that is it for today's guys if you like my video just like my video share this video with other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code